Alright everyone, it's time to talk about Greta Thunberg, Meatloaf, and, and a video topic I never envisioned actually having to talk about. Um, for those of you that aren't aware, Meatloaf came out uh, a day ago and said Greta Thunberg was brainwashed on climate change. Now, I agree with him. And I actually agree that climate change is real. Now, I don't agree with all of the auxiliary sort of points that are made by climatologists. The central point, though, that weather has changed over time in long-term patterns, I mean, it's, it's inarguable. Whether you assume that that's natural and fine or man-made and terrible doesn't really matter. It's, it's quite clearly the case. Here's the problem. Meatloaf is correct because Greta Thunberg herself is not a scientist. She's 17 years old, barely 17. She's not a scientist. She floats around the world and gives speeches. She's a political activist. She is simply regurgitating what others have said. The only reason it's considered a sign of intelligence is because it speaks for a consensus that is taken for granted as true by the people analyzing it. And that's really all. But my ability to repeat something like a parrot doesn't show intelligence. It doesn't show novelty. And it sure as hell doesn't mean that I'm necessarily correct. And that's really the problem here. The problem here is this. Greta Thunberg is no more qualified. And here's the hypocrisy of it. People are saying that Meatloaf is unqualified to talk about this. He's just an old washed-up rock star. Oh, we'll get to that dismissal uh, in a moment. Well, Greta Thunberg's just a 17-year-old activist. She's not a climate scientist. She's just repeating what other people said. How does that qualify her? You know, any, any person of her age range can look into what Al Gore has said and Michael Moore and all these people, take down some notes and make a speech like she's made. It's not a sign of any form of intellect, and it's certainly not, it's not a legitimate form of science to regurgitate what others have said. Science is testing and testing and testing some more. Science is trying to attack your own hypothesis to disprove it. That's the whole fucking point. To try to gain actual evidence in the long term, uh, de facto proof that something is true. You can claim that climate science is settled. That's perfectly fine, but that doesn't mean that Greta Thunberg is any more qualified to talk about it. She doesn't know what she's talking about. It'd be funny to see someone quiz her on climate science and see how she actually does. And the idea of being dismissive of meatloaf. Oh, he's just some old dude from the 70s. Dude, you don't know what you're talking about. Meatloaf, of all people, is who you're going to be dismissive of? Hasn't he sold like 40 million copies just a bat out of hell? One fucking album that he makes, he's made what, maybe 50, 60 million bucks off that one album? By the way, he's had money problems. And he's no one-hit wonder. He wasn't just a 70s rock star. Did you not know that Meatloaf had one of the big hits of the 90s? with that? So, I, I, I can do anything, I would do anything for love. I think that was early 90s, if I remember correctly, like 91 or something. That's arguably one of his biggest hits. It comes from the later stage of his musical career. By and large, these days, I don't think he even really tours. He just occasionally makes an appearance. I think he suffers from social anxiety. By the way, he's lost like fucking 100 pounds at least. He's in good shape compared to what he was back in the 70s. It's really funny to see. You now, young him, uh, you know, was pretty obese and, and messed up on drugs probably all the time. Um, older him actually looks pretty damn good, to tell the truth. But the idea that he's irrelevant um, is is laughable. It's sort of like when Billy Eilish there was like, oh, I don't know who Van Halen is, and I, that can be excused because it's like, you know, it's not the kind of music you're looking at anyway. You're not interested in rock. You're more into pop and I don't know whatever kind of music people make now. Uh, that's forgivable, but you know, to be dismissive of someone to just out of hand and not even know anything about them, not to know how many albums Meatloaf has sold, uh, anything about his actual popularity uh, long term. It's something totally different. Like, yeah, yeah, Rocky Horror totally doesn't matter, dude. Nah, just fuck it, you know? <laughs> Tim Curry doesn't matter either, these people, uncultured as they would uh, be, I suppose, would say. Uh, no, Meatloaf is not qualified to talk on climate science. He's not a scientist either, but that doesn't mean that Greta is. What he's pointing out is she doesn't know what she's talking about. She's just, you know, saying what other people have said. Yeah, absolutely. That's inarguable. That's objective at this point, dude. You don't even have to disagree with her. You can agree with Greta Thunberg's basic ideas, but the problem is they're not her ideas. That's the whole fucking point. And this happens time and time again. It's like when politicians try to become a climate activist, like Al Gore in the 90s. Well, I'm going to put all this carbon in a lockbox. Ho, ho, I'm going to take my two private jets around to my private homes, five or six of them later, and I'm going to fight climate change by telling people they shouldn't be like me. It's hypocrisy and stupidity and people talking in verbiose ways about subjects that are complex and they don't even know anything about. 
I actually bothered to study ecology and plant biology in some of these other fields. Does that make me uniquely qualified to talk about this issue such that people have to take me correct and if anyone contravenes me, I should focus on why they're washed up or irrelevant? No, because that's not how science works, number one. It's certainly not how public debate works, number two. That's how a Twitter echo chamber works. That's how stupid people work. And, stu and stupid people are very easily taken in by self-proclaimed advocates and activists that ultimately are not saying anything unique or novel. They just say it loudly and they put on a cute face uh, for the cameras and they do things that are themselves novel like sail their solar yacht around and it gains a lot of attention and they make money doing it. They make a lot of money. It's a money making game. Most of the people in climate science, they're not putting on a lab coat and getting a salary to go into the lab every day and conduct experiments. Most of the people involved with it, they don't do anything meaningful. If they were, they would be out planting trees. Greta Thunberg would be planting trees right now 12 hours a day to try to save the world. These people have told us the apocalypse is looming. Well, where are your big solutions? Where's your idea of, of, of not just planting, well, we're going to plant a million trees. No, why don't you plant 10 trillion trees? Why don't you kill off 95% of the world's population and bring us back to before the industrial era? Because you claim that climate change began in the mid-1800s. The population of the world and the CO2 emissions are so much higher now than the mid-1800s that you would literally have to commit genocide. At the very least, to have any chance, you'd have to mass sterilize about 99% of humanity and rip all the factories apart and do away with basically any form of energy that wasn't green and self-replicating. The only energy sources you'd have would be geothermal and hydroelectric at that point. You wouldn't even be able to justify mining the uranium for nuclear ore. You wouldn't even be able to do that. Solar panels would be fine if you could figure out how to run a factory that makes them off of more solar panels. That would be self-replicating green energy. By the way, I'm a proponent of that, but <laughs> the technology is not there yet, unfortunately. The efficiency level isn't high enough. By the way, I believe that they're currently developing batteries that don't use any heavy metals. That's good, but you know, the next step is we need solar panels that do the same thing. If we can build, if we can capture the energy of the sun without having to mine anything inordinate, yeah, we'll have solved the world's energy problems long term. Yeah, well, basically forever. The problem is we don't have that technology right now. It could take a hundred years for us to develop it. We should be prioritizing it. Greta Thunberg would rather drive around on her yacht and give speeches. And then get, you know, optioned for the Nobel Prize for literally no reason whatsoever. Because she's able to repeat what she read in a book. Repeat what she saw on TV. That doesn't make any sense. Basically, they're just praising her for bringing attention to the issue that had been on the back burner for the last decade. It had been on the back burner because people lost interest in it. She helped to re-inject some interest. Huzzah! She's, you know, the princess of climate change, you know, stopping it. No. And the idea that she's any more qualified than Meatloaf to speak about the uh, issue is, is totally preposterous. That's about all. Peace out.